Nature has spent 3.8 billion years refining form, function and process. With some scientific rigour and a bit of creativity, we can use nature to solve almost any problem, from the nanoscale to the global, and we call this bioinspiration. At the University of Melbourne, our mission is to make a genuine contribution to the discovery of new knowledge and technologies through collaborative partnerships. We created the Bioinspiration Hallmark Research Initiative to enable our world-leading experts to engage across disciplines and with industry to form enduring partnerships that will lead to real-world solutions. It's technology inspired by nature. Today's workshop is the first, I think, of many workshops that we'll have, and it focuses mostly around uh, design and, and built environment. And so we're in the uh, design building, and most of the talks that we've heard so far today have been around how animal or plant systems or biological systems might provide some kind of inspiration for, in particular, design at the, at the very large scale. My name is Alberto Pugnale, and I'm a senior lecturer in architectural design here at the Mambo School of Design. My area of expertise is uh, primarily computational design and uh, structural and acoustic optimization. And in optimization, I work with genetic algorithms, which are a way to emulate natural selection to design structures with a better performance, even to design acoustic spaces. Bioinspiration is about using biology and nature to try and solve specific technological and design problems. We are focusing on bio-inspired advanced materials and optics. We're focusing on bio-inspired chemical sensors and bio-inspired architectural design. Whenever there was the first photochemist, the first thing they were really inspired by was the way that green plants convert sunlight into chemical energy. Using these by inspiration concepts, what we're hoping to do is indeed to improve the efficiency of, of solar cells so that we can have cheaper, lighter solar cells that would make an, an enormous difference to world energy sources and consumption. I'm an optical physicist. I'm interested in the way light interacts with matter and also extracting information from light. And together with colleagues across the university, we're looking at new devices such as the meta-optical structures using nanophotonic components. But we also have colleagues in engineering using uh, ideas from biology to create ultra high strength materials. What the initiative will do is really create conversations across disciplines and create the scale to help make that happen. Nature holds so many secrets that are just waiting to be unlocked. Join us on our journey of discovery in bioinspiration. inspiration